Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn the correct way to animate the background for work cycle animation in After Effects. So let's start. So we are going to use this particular work cycle animation in this lesson. If you want to learn how to animate this work cycle, you can get the link in the description. We already have a tutorial on this. So go check it out. Now if you observe the work cycle closely, you can see that after this contact pose, this reaches over here, the foot reaches over here and then again it goes back to its initial contact pose and it travels this particular distance, this character travels. So we need to find out this particular distance. So for that select any foot and go to the position and take only the x axis value, we don't need the y axis value, this one. So at this point, the value of x axis is 1196.2 pixels and at this point, the value is 632 pixels. So we need to get the difference between these two. So which comes around 564.2 pixels. So which means is that for every 15 frames, so here is the 15th frame. So for every 15 frames, the character is traveling around 564.2 pixels. So this is what we need to adjust from in the background while animating. Now if you come over here outside the composition, so this is the work cycle composition and this is the background composition. Now I have scaled down the work cycle composition by 70% because if we give it 100%, it will look very big. So we have scaled it down. So right now we have noticed that the character is traveling 564.2 pixels for every 15 frames. But for this one, as we have scaled down, so we need to get the 70% of that particular value, which comes roughly around 395 pixels. So. For the background, we need to animate or move the background in X axis around 395 pixels for every 15 frames. So right now over here, we are around uh, the work area is around six seconds and this work cycle is uh, taking around one second for every step and one work cycle has two steps. So around 12 steps for in six seconds. So right now we can either move the background by 395 pixels for every 15 frames or if we are animating it for six seconds, then we can even to multiply it by 12 which we are going to get as 4740 we are going to just move the background by that much pixels for six seconds and we are going to get pretty much nice animation for that so let's start with the road strip animation let's split the dimensions put a keyframe on x-axis and let's jump on to next six frame and after that, we are going to subtract this value by this actual value. So right now it's moving backwards. And if we check the animation, yeah, we get a pretty nice animation and there is no sliding or skating effect or anything like that. But you need to remember one thing that I have converted this into linear keyframes. So as it is in linear keyframes, there isn't any in between speed changes. So right now it's properly fitting up with the background. Now let's turn on the visibility of other layers. So this is the front tree. We can simply parent it by this road lines. And for this back trace layer, let's add some parallax effect to this one. So open the position, let's split the dimension and let's put a keyframe on X axis. Let's jump on to the next one. So we are going to check the distance, how much it traveled and we are going to move it less. Let's 
put it over here or something around here. And if we play the animation, we're going to get a pretty nice parallax effect. Same thing we can do with the cloud as well. Let's put a keyframe over here and let's move it over here. Sorry, not this much. The cloud will be the slowest one on the scene. Let's check it. All right, let's check our animation from this window. Okay, so like this, you can animate the background correctly in After Effects for work cycle animation. Now, if you have added the easiest keyframes or just added different keyframes other than linear keyframes or change the graph, then the best way is to go for step by step if you, if you want to go be extremely precise or else you can simply slightly speed it up the, the background and you, are, you will get a pretty nice animation. And if you play the animation, you are not going to get some sliding effect, anything like that. So like this, you can animate background for your work cycles. So you can implement the same thing for run cycles as well and also for dog walk cycle and dog run cycle as well. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.